Welcome back, family and friends. Um, slight change of plan. Uh, slightly different games to show you because apparently when we got through to the cup, it changed the date of one of our fixtures. So, but you might get to enjoy us getting our backsides kicked by Besiktas, so that'll be fun. We are going for a double header today. We are against Besiktas first up. Now, <clears throat> uh, we have a second tactic that we use for the likes of um, Besiktas. Basically because um, I made the tactically naive blunder of trying to play our all-out gung-ho, press them high, attack, attack, attack tactic against uh, league leaders Galatasaray. Who, as you can see have dropped two points all season uh, you can also see we've got a minus five goal difference that game is most of the reason for that in fact it's more than most of the reason for that because we lost seven nil um, so yeah fun times um, and the game after that we beat Fenerbahce one nil when I brought out this tactic and it's got a win against Trabzonspor as well so um, we will see what happens today. Now I've talked it up, obviously, we will put in a terrible performance and lose. Um, we still can't draw a game, apparently. That is no longer legal. Um, and no matter what happens in a game, we will contrive to not draw it. Uh, the last two probably should have been draws, but we got a late penalty to win one of them and we suffered a late collapse where we just threw the game away admittedly having been gifted the lead by an own goal um, to avoid drawing the last one so yeah so we have played 16 games prior to this eight wins eight defeats uh, if you take the Galatasaray game out of it not too bad although honestly I can never actually predict which version of us is going to turn up on any given day uh, what I can normally predict is that Kieran, I started the season really quite well, Dowell, uh, will not bother showing up. Fortunately, we've got a 21-year-old Turkish lad who I have left out today because Dowell is better defensively. Um, but uh, I did put him in to uh, replace Dowell uh, a couple of games ago and he scored a hat-trick. So he is basically waiting in the wings for um, Kieran to finally decide that he's not ever going to play well again. Okay, this is not going brilliantly. Away! Okay, right. Oh, Sissoko got himself in front of that apparently. And again, good defensive work from Sissoko here. Nodded away, Rares Bernete, who doesn't do a huge amount. Oh my word, well, he was offside. Thank goodness for that. Uh, I mean, obviously, we are going to be second best. The weird thing about the fact we don't never draw is the fact that almost every game the pre-match prediction is for a draw so it's just odd that it never happens oh come on oh hello oh adnan you're on your own son he's done well well Probably about as much as we could hope for out of the end of that highlight. I mean, as you can see, if I mean we do seem to have played more games than anyone else. I'm not entirely sure how. I don't know how in the fixture list we've managed to end up playing more than everyone else. Because we've been in the same rounds of the cup as everyone else. So it's not like we got knocked out of that early and started playing league games instead. Oh, for goodness sake. How would you let that in? 
Now you see, this is where the problem lies with this tactic, because we've never really, really had this problem before, because this tactic is entirely designed to try not to lose the game. I don't know if Dogan's noticed he's got arms and he can extend them. A little bit T-Rex there. Um, but, yeah, now I don't know if we're supposed to hope that we can create something even though we're staying very defensive or whether I'm now supposed to go all out attack and we'll get slaughtered. <sighs> I mean, passing like that ain't going to help Bernetto. It's really not. I like you. But not your passing. Oh, Kieran, bring it down, you plum. Well done, Kakuri. Right. Keep the ball. Don't do anything stupid. Oh my word. Oh. I knew there was a goal coming there. There is always a goal coming when you play a pass like that. And yet again, Dogan gets beaten from outside the box. Well, at this point, we may as well just go to that, mightn't we? Because we're not going to come back from two down playing this way, are we? Um... What have you just gone to full game? No, you haven't. Why? Why are we watching this? Is this another highlight? I don't know how we ended up in that bit. It's very strange. Uh, you're playing badly, boys. I'd just like to point out you are all, or almost all, playing badly. Except our 18-year-old defensive midfielder, the ball-winning midfielder, Cassif. He's playing all right. Oh, Sissoko, done some good stuff. He's playing okay. Right, come on, Kieran. You can at least take a corner. Oh, apparently not. Just float it up to where the goalkeeper can easily get it. Right, not happy with that first half, boys. Uh, yeah, what was that? You are being bad. Basically. Right, Ertoisen, I put you in because Baxa of Arnos was bad last time out. And you've been worse. So, well done. Uh, right, Abojania get out right let's take in the two worst defenders that aren't goalkeepers off the pitch <sighs> right let's see I mean I don't fancy our chances and uh, Adnan didn't need to do that did you he was about to lose the ball of his own accord let him do what he wants. I mean, they've got 0.27 xG. I mean, that's how unlikely their goals were. So as far as I mean, if you looked at the xG, you'd be quite pleased that you'd limited basic tax to that in just over a half. But we can't. Oh, Kieran, 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 you may as well get off because being good defensively isn't any use now because you're in an attacking midfield position now, aren't you? So get out of my sight. Honestly, I am regretting signing you. You don't play to your attributes at all. You are much, much better than you ever play. And you are playing a role you are perfectly good at. You are more than capable of playing that role. And even against the easier teams, you just don't turn up. We seem to think that three weeks' work at the start of the season was enough. Oh, why are you shooting from there, Rarish? No, you've got to get closer than that. Do I really have to tell you to work the ball into the box? Come on, he's got acres of space out here. Was that a cross or a shot? Answers on a postcard. The winner will be drawn randomly next week. Assuming anyone can actually get the answer right. Because I don't think he knows. Oh, he's at the bar. You see, all of a sudden, we're not playing too badly, are we? I just, I just never quite know when to go the defensive and when not to. I mean, we're actually the better side here. 
now. I suppose if nothing else, at least we've given it a go and we, you know, we haven't just rolled over and died. We've given away two very disappointing goals, but. Oh, come on. We've got to finish better than that. That's a very good chance. And on the plus side, we are creating very good chances. We're dominating the second half. Hmm. Okay. I'm entirely sure you need to head that. You could have brought that down, Kilama, but. Okay, Sissoko gets it in there. Bernetti! Don't even try and tell me that was offside. Well, Sissoko wasn't, was he? Linesman's kept his flag down. That's not offside. We're back in it. Come on, boys! I mean. You can see what I mean with the, the title of the last one, can't you? Consistently inconsistent, even within a match. We cannot be relied upon to be the same team. I mean, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hattay spore. Come on, lads. Right, my phone alarm is going off. Bear with me. <clears throat> and we're back in the room. Not that you'll have noticed that, because I'll have edited that bit out. But anyway. Uh, right. I don't think we've got much in the way of tired legs out there, but... Come on. Just a bit of encouragement. Oh, my word. How much space did we want to give them? And he's not got his flag up. Oh, that's terrible. There's so many of them just stood there waiting. Oh, he's got acres of space to run into. and I mean, to, to be honest, you looked offside, son. I mean, we'll take it that you weren't, but you looked miles offside. I mean, it didn't help that there were at least two other people who could have finished that off who weren't offside. <sighs> ah, that's annoying. I mean, got back into it, and we've been the better side. Urchin's playing like how? How are you playing so badly? What can you possibly be doing that's that bad? When everyone else is playing fine around you, don't understand how you personally can be playing that badly, unless you're really good mates with Kieran. All of a sudden, decided, I know what, I'll play even worse than he did just so he can get back in the lineup. Don't do it. Six point two now is it right? I am tearing a strip off you at, at the full time because frankly this is unacceptable that you've come on and actually been worse than Kieran Dow. All of which has made me brush over completely the last twenty minutes of this game when nothing has happened. You really shouldn't be offside from there. There's no excuse for being offside from that position. Well, yet another game we probably should have drawn, but found a way not to. So, hey, the quality continues. <sighs> right, I'm going to go and tell Urshin off now. It's the cup fifth round. Uh, it's probably as far as we'll go, because we're away to Adana Demirspor, who are like fourth in the league. And the actual pre-match prediction was they are expected to beat us. And yeah, it's predicting we should go defensive, but I tried that against this lot last time. They, they beat us. Um, and we only looked good when we started attacking them. Uh, we made a few changes. Baxivanos is back in. Uh, Deli Bashiru is replacing Abujania. Dirtly is, well, Urshin is keeping his place. Um, frankly, because I'm just still somewhat fed up with Kieran Dow. And uh, Omer is coming in in goal. Um, we need Doyan a break. 
Um, and, I mean, he gets beaten from range far too often for my liking. However, let's have a look. Is there anyone else? Uh, oh, Burnett has kept his place. Tanner has come in for Adnan, who was useless last time. Uh, I nearly missed the opposition instructions. But we know how badly it goes when I miss those. Right, why are you putting him on his weaker foot? I mean, I'll do it, but... Um, right, okay. <sighs> well, let's go. I think we've probably done well enough in the cut for the board to be happy. Um, they wanted us to... Um, uh, whatever the phrase is, I can't remember. Um, basically sort of like make a decent fist of it. Um, not embarrass ourselves. Uh, right, apparently there's no pressure on us today. Uh, the forwards. Go and play without any pressure. We've got lots of interest in Tanner Ozturk. Uh, you've got a £4.3 million release clause. Um, I won't be sorry to see him go. I mean, he's... Another one like Kieran Down, who should be very good. And I still think with him, it is that drop deep or comes deep to get the ball that is messing him up. Even though we try and use him as a deep lying forward now so that he can drop deep to get the ball, it doesn't necessarily work with the way we want to play. Um, but at the moment, he's training another trait to place shots. And until he learns that, I can't try and get him to drop the other one. Which I was advised was a bad idea because he's got good touch. I was like, yeah, but it's not what we are asking him to do, so it's hurting his game. But um, I don't know. I mean, I'm wondering, do I try a deep lying forward, advanced forward combo and put Tanner and Adnan on the pitch at the same time? But then I'm wasting two very good, you know, target forwards. Not that either of them scores that much either. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, for all, all the attacking mentality we've got, we haven't actually taken a shot in nearly 20 minutes. And no one is playing well. This is going to be one of those games where we just gently drift towards a really pathetic performance, isn't it? Right. I mean, are you even trying? I'm going to berate you because you've just done literally nothing. Nothing. For half an hour. Okay. Billy Bashiru. Well, it's a shot on target, boys. Shots on target. I mean, it probably should have been hit better than it was. Tanner again is not playing well. Honestly, I'll I'll take the four point three and run at this at this rate. I don't know what to do to get the best out of him because nothing seems to work. Number eight. Okay, Sissoko is in. Cut it back, cut it back. Oh, what are you doing, Sissoko? You've got to find someone in the middle with that. You cannot be having a pop from there. You are not good enough to score from there. Oh, oh, has he saved that? Well, ever since I started shouting at them, it's been better. Yeah, see, so Sissoko, okay. you're playing 6.4. You're not scoring from that angle. And I'm disappointed you thought you would be able to. You had two men in the middle who could have 
tried to finish that off if you'd have just got it in there and the man coming in from the edge of the box you could have pulled it back to it <sighs> gotta use your noggin sissoko right i'm going to say they're doing well and he's looking delighted but then you probably would be when you're playing that badly and someone just told you you're doing well because it could just be they haven't noticed i have alpha i have more like beta Sissoko at the moment. He has improved a little. Come on. Pull, um, not the greatest, but, you know, better than your last effort. Deli Bashiru. Uh, Right, need to demand more again because you seem to have let them take control of the game yet again. At least as far as the game thinks the momentum is going. Oh. Just charge into him, Tanner. Make him nervous about coming for it. Oh, how long are you keeping that ball, son? Okay. Oh, he's played it through. That's a terrible touch. Oh my word! Good first touch, my ass. Take that in stride and hit it. Oh my lord, Tanner! You do frustrate the life out of me. Do you know what? You know what we're going to do? Uh, well, one thing we're going to do is get Sissoko off the pitch because by chuck, son. Um, right, the other thing we are going to do is I'm going to put Taj up front with Bonete and I'm going to make you a target forward on attack and you a target forward on support. Got two target forwards now, boys. Double the aerial threat. Let's see what happens with that. Yes, thank you. Honestly, don't know why it does that, and I don't like it. But I can't be bothered to look and try and stop it. Right, demand more. Come on. I mean, it doesn't help that Rarish is now getting tired, so this double threat up front might not last too long. Oof. Are you telling me he was offside because... Oh my god, don't be so laissez-faire about it. Should have played it to him anyway. And you can't see where I'm pointing, but him. He should have got that pass. Right, come on boys, get in the box, get in the box, get in the box. Or not. Okay. Oh, he's played it to nobody. Oh, no. Oh, Deli Bashiru. When's it? A uh, chin. No, that's poor. Blocked. Not good enough. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, Taj. Finally actually got someone winning the header at a corner. I have no idea if these games go to like extra time or penalties or what, if I'm honest. One kid on that. There you go. Ali on off. You've got space. Tash. Oh. Well, I don't think the two target forwards has been the worst idea, has it? Wait a minute. Well done. Right. Get there you go. Why are you that close to him? Right, come on, Furcan. Taj. Really could do with you in the middle, son. Get yourself in there. There we go. Oh, nicely done. Oh come on. I mean he's played well since you came on. I mean it's only saying a six point seven at the moment, but I think he's done well. I don't know if Bernete apparently is not playing well, but 
I'm prepared to keep him on. I want this experiment to, to play out. Time. Oh, you had more time than... Oh, hello. Come on, Bonetti. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I really think by this point we should be winning this game. Okay, Furkan pointing meaningfully and then produce that corner. Never mind. This goes to extra time. I think I'm going to have to take Bonetti off. He is just too tired to carry on. It worries me that they haven't had a shot on target because I get the feeling their first one is going to go in. I mean, we have been much the better side in this game. Yep, extra time. Here we go. <sighs> right. You're doing well. However, uh, yep. get out of my sight. Uh, right, I'm going to put Adnan on for... Rarish and he is not going to play target forward. He is going to play the advanced forward role, but I'm keeping Taj on the attacking role, I think. I think he's done all right. Um, now, you are a bit tired and on a booking, so I'm going to take you off, even though you've been... Bang, trouble is, you're our best performing player so far today. Uh Okay, Ravenelli can come on for Kilama, who is tired. Kakuri's playing well. Uh, right, we'll have to see who's got nothing left in their legs towards the end of this. Let's give them some encouragement. Probably going to be a bit longer episode than I was expecting, but, you know, that's extra time for you. Ali on off. No, not a good ball. <sighs> right. Here we go, lads. Here we go. Right. Five minutes into extra time. The first highlight. Oh. Got away with that a bit there. Wasn't the best of challenges, but... Alionov gets it towards Ursin. Adnan picks it up. Now nowhere near his position and <sighs> Eli Bashiru shoots from range again. Okay. Oh good. Alionov has got himself booked. Excellent. Good work. Well done. Right. This has got the looks of being their chance. Oh, I can't believe you've done that. You don't need to go anywhere near him at that point. Oh, yeah, and this is their first shot on target coming up. And he saves it. Oh, absolute cretin, Baxivanos. Oh, right. I mean, I think we are going to have to make some changes. And unfortunately, that midfielder is performing quite well. Surely I should, at this point, be able to actually make some substitutions. Because you would be able to make substitutions at half-time and extra time, wouldn't you? But apparently I can't. I literally cannot do it. So now I've got to let them kick off and then make the substitutions. And for some reason, our right backs are just bad today. Sissoko was poor. Alionov was also poor. Um, right, have we got two subs left? Oh, I don't know. Um, right, come on then, Ali Abojania. Show us something. 
Um, and Ozcan, right, fresh legs in central midfield. Unfortunately, that's two of my better players coming off. And I honestly don't know why you can't make a substitution at half time in extra time. I mean, fair enough, deny me the team talk sort of thing. But it's a stoppage in play. I should be able to make a substitution. It seems like an oversight that I can't. And we've somehow got to kick the ball out. Right, I'm going to demand more. <sighs> Again, we should have had one already. We've had the chances to win this. Go on, run on Mehmet. Ali on off, whips it in. Oh, what is he playing? What match rating is that Drommel getting? Seven point nine. I'm not blooming surprised. Come on. Just takes one at this stage. It in. Rabinelli! Right. If you've got everything else normally the same. <clears throat> Oh, straight from the kickoff. Don't do it straight from the kickoff. Oh, go on. Let this be our chance. Just, just our highlight will do. Preferably having passed it around for four minutes. Go on, Furkan. Go on. Name it. Alianov cuts inside, forces another good save from Drommel. But it was our highlight. We asked them to do something they don't like doing and focus. Beautiful bit of time wasting. Look at that textbook. From the musical statues champion Abojania. Apparently the corner wasn't even worth seeing because he did, did actually save that according to the text at the bottom of the screen. Come on boys, just keep it down there. No, no, no. Where are you running away to? Why are you running away? Oh my lord, it's a good job he played that badly. Honestly, don't know why you would run away from him at that point. Oh. I don't know, man. He's had a very good game. Saved a penalty, of course. Which, let's face it, is the literally the only thing they have done. I think it's still probably their only shot on target. Yes! Get in! I think that's last 16 we're in now. I mean... I <laughs> Again, I will make the point, you never know which Hate Spore is going to turn up. Because frankly, we dominated that game. 15 shots on target to their one. I mean, their goalkeeper was outstanding, frankly. Ours was pretty darn good. And honestly, I might give him a run in the league. But we are, like I say, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hate Spore. And you've probably seen that phrase on the uh, on the thumbnail for this one because I've used it twice in the episode and I'm quite liking it. I might I might use it for that. You'll know obviously a long way before you hear this whether I did. Anyway, let's get on with it. I thought we'd have the fun of the cup draw, being as we're somehow still in. 
Oh, Besiktas traps on Spore. That's handy. One of those out. There are some weaker sides in here, as you can see. Uh, you watch us get Galatasaray now. Oh, no. We've got uh, Fatty, Karagumruk, who are one of the teams we conspired to lose against when we never should have done. Uh, if I go to the schedule, yeah, there you go. You see that 2 1 defeat there, which we threw away in the last 15 minutes, having undeservedly led in the first place. So that'll be fun. I've got a transfer window um, coming up. I don't know if we've got any real money left over to improve this this squad. Um, to be honest, I think we'll be perfectly safe even if we don't. Um, but I don't think we're going to be able to push for Europe if we don't either. So who knows? But uh, thank you for joining me in this absolute madhouse that is Hatay Spore. And uh, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time for whatever that happens to be. Bye bye for now.